I'm building a PC today. Hey y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. <laughs> and for today's video, I am so excited because I get to build my own gaming PC specifically only for gaming. Long story short, you guys know that I am mostly a console gamer. I love console gaming, I really do. But for content creation, I feel like it's really important for me to take the next step. I wanna up the quality on my videos, so I am assembling this today. Probably the most expensive build I've done so far. I'm not nervous, I'm a little nervous. Before we jump into the build, I wanna give a huge, huge shout out to Asus ROG. I've been working with them for about two to three years now. I absolutely love them. They make sure that I am always equipped with components and monitors, keyboards, mice, anything that I need to create content in game. If y'all see an Asus ROG product on this table, it was sent over by them. So thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, also this build is not very um, aesthetically planned, I guess. Um, I'm just throwing together a lot of components that I have. Um, but I did want to make this PC kind of look like a twin to my current PC since they're going to be uh, a dual PC setup. Uh, my current PC Mordecai, I'll throw in some B-roll footage right now. Ha ha. That's my current PC. Um, he looks like this, and I'm hoping to make this PC somewhat look like that too, but different colors and uh, newer components. Let's begin with the components. First of all, we're using the Fantex uh, Evolve X. It's pretty much the upgraded version of my current PC Mordecai's case. Actually, funny story, Fantex sent me this case uh, probably two years ago, so thank you guys so much. I'm finally using it. <laughs> If we look here, I'm gonna be running the ROG Strix Z490A gaming motherboard. I already have the CPU pre-installed on this. I'm gonna be using the i7-10700K. I used this motherboard and CPU a couple months ago for a build battle that I did with ASUS ROG. So that's why I have them. I want to use them. If we look over here, I have the 970 EVO Plus. Fantastic storage, as we all know. For the PSU, if I may direct your attention to the ROG Thor 1200 watt platinum gaming PSU. I, this thing is, I've never worked with something so strong. That'll be fun. Over here, I have some RGB stuff. I have the Fantex Neon Digital RGB LED Strip. I've seen it online, it looks super cool. I have the controller for it too. Um, don't know if I'll use it. If I do, cool. If I don't, cool. If we look over here, we have an RTX 3080. I'm so happy. Asus, thank you so much. I'm so, I'm so happy I get to use this. For the CPU cooler, we're gonna be using the ROG Strix LC360 RGB White Edition AIO, it's here in a box and I'm excited for it because I have the Ryujin 360 in Mordecai So I think they'll match really well. Well, I'm hoping they'll match really well. If we look here We have the Elgato HD 4k 60 Pro. I'm gonna need that for 4k. Wait, does it go in this PC or Mordecai? Wait I don't know if you go in this PC. Wait, I don't know <laughs> Don't worry. I am a professional Anyways, moving on. Okay, so this is probably the most aesthetically ridiculous thing that I have in this build. I wanted this for just no reason whatsoever, okay? It's the G-Skill Triton Z Royal Ram. It's pretty, it looks like gems. I, I, this is the one time in my life where I wanted to splurge on Ram. I don't know why. I'm using it, I don't care. It's my build, I can do what I want. I have a four terabyte hard drive in here. I'm really gonna need that for videos and content creation. Oh yeah, I have this. So I ordered a cable kit from Cable Mod. Um, I've never really had one before, so I thought this would be the time to try it out. Now I didn't know what I was going for in regards to aesthetics in this build, so I didn't know if I wanted white sleeve cables or if I wanted silver sleeved, so I decided to go mostly white with an accent of silver, mostly so I can see if there's really much of a difference in the colors. So if you're in the same boat and don't know which color to go with, I'm gonna find out for you. How about that? Oh wow, there's actually a pretty significant difference. I thought um, the shading on the website looked really similar between the two, but they're definitely different in person. I'll throw up some B-roll if you guys wanna see. But uh, here's what the white looks like, and here's what the silver looks like. I hope that this is useful, so you can make a choice for yourself. Yes, colors. Is that everything? I feel like I'm missing something. Um, I have tools, thermal compound, got my screwdriver kit, isopropyl alcohol. Um, yeah, let's just get to building, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna do it, yep, yep. Before we jump in, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my hair up, okay? I am so nervous to do this build, I have no idea why. I just need to jump in and do it. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's take a quick look at this PC case here. It's been sitting around for a bit and uh, it's a little bit dusty if I may show you all. Yeah, so I gotta fix it. Okay, that looks a lot better now. And so the build process begins again. This is pretty much the same angle from my last video too. I hope you guys don't mind. Oh, there's already a RAM kit installed? Oh, well. Come here. 
It's just two very simple eight gig sticks. We're gonna be throwing in this fancy gym ram though, which I'm really excited about. I forgot to mention that I got this on sale too. So it's not like I splurged too much on it, but uh, I still I still bought it. I saw it and said, ooh, pretty. <laughs> I don't wanna take the ram out of the box. It's got the gems. If I even poke it with my finger, I'm gonna get my fingerprints all over it. But you know what? The build must go on. Oh, it has a protective covering on it. I'll take this off when I get the cooler installed. Now, as you can probably tell, I already have the CPU installed, but if you guys are curious as to how to install a CPU, I can show you. You're gonna take this little arm here, you're gonna lift it up like so, lift this up. And if I were to be placing this in, I would line it up like so and just drop it in very carefully. Yep, give it a little wiggle, it's in, and then we close. It's gonna be forceful, but it's okay. And there you go, installed CPU. This video isn't really gonna be a guide, but I figured I'd show you guys a little bit along the way. I'm gonna install this now. Let's open it up. Need my knife. I have my knife. Let me see what you have. A knife, no. Oh my God, why does he have a knife? It's so small, look at it. I'm gonna put it uh, right here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> what the heck is this? Who are you? Wait, who are you? <laughs> I seem to already have an SSD on here. I had no idea. It is 512 gigs. I'm gonna go ahead and just take that out. Maybe I can save it for another project or something. I wonder if it has an operating system on it. Oh well, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in now. Make sure that is tight. We're gonna just slide this all in like so. Come on. Gonna do this and screw it in. I was actually a little concerned because I don't think I had any other screws for actually mounting the SSD. So that kind of worked out that there was already one in here. Okay, and we peel, and we place. Excellent. Our motherboard is now prepped. I'm gonna peel off all this stuff when I get it actually installed into the case, so don't worry. I know you see these plastics bits. I'm gonna peel them off, I promise. I will not forget. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the AIO. I'm gonna put the fans on it and just get it ready to put in the case and on the CPU, of course. Oh my gosh, it's sparkly. Wait, you guys have to see this. You guys see the sparkles already? I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be just kind of a shiny white, but no, it's, it's, it's sparkly. What a pleasant surprise. I already know the fan orientation that I want for this case. I want this to go up top. Uh, I want two intake fans and I want the tube to go a certain way to mimic my other PC. Well, that was good. How many screws do I have? Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hello? Did I miscount? Wait, hold on. One and eleven. Am I missing a screw? <laughs> Don't edit that in, Hannah. <laughs> the world doesn't need to know. <laughs> I'm gonna be sitting down for this part because it's gonna be really tedious, but basically I'm putting the fans on here. That's right. Is this upside down? Yes. <laughs> Man, we are on a roll today. My wrist is killing me, but I think we're good. Let me double check really quick by making these just a teensy bit more tight, just a little bit. And we're good. Hello, my tripod isn't tall enough for this task. Let's go ahead and put in the motherboard. I love Fantex cases because it comes with this little tackle box of screws. I find it very aesthetically pleasing for some reason. Also super efficient. And remember, when you're screwing down something, go corner, 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 corner. It's better for the components, or so I've been told over the years. It helps apply more even pressure instead of it kind of rolling down like this. It instead goes do, 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 and then kind of goes down at the same time, if that makes sense. And there we have it. Okay, I have the motherboard in the case. I went ahead and got all these cables figured out for the cooler. It's a lot, it's looking a little bit like a spider web, but it's fine. I went ahead and opened up the power supply, which looks amazing. Look at this thing. It's so heavy too, by the way. This is definitely a premium power supply. It even has a screen on the front, but I'm sad because I realized that if I want the screen to show here, I'd have to have the fan facing up. And that's just not good because that with this case, it's no, we are not doing that. We gotta go this way. It must happen, which I mean, the other side looks great too, but I feel like I'm missing out on all of this, which is kind of sad. No. <sighs> Nonetheless, it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the power cables into the power supply and then the cable extensions, and then we're just gonna assemble more stuff. 
By the way, on the back of the power supply, it has the logo here, but I'm gonna have to do it this way. So it's gonna be upside down. It's gonna bother me a little bit, but it'll be fine. It's worth it. Okay, here's all the cables that we need. Big boy power, SATA power, a couple for the graphics card, and CPU. I just noticed these cables come zip tied. How nice is that? Now, before I put the power supply into the PC, I'm gonna go ahead and route the CPU extension cable up through here, and then I'm gonna install the AIO because I learned last time, this first before that, because it's hard to cable manage afterwards. Hi, so I made a little mistake, nothing too crazy, but um, I need another cable to power the CPU. I didn't know this motherboard had two of these. Uh-oh, it's fine. I mean, hopefully I can cover up this one with this cable and it'll hardly be noticeable and I'll order an extra one eventually. Is it really that easy? Really? I've never had such an easy time installing a radiator. Wow. And then there's just two screws up here that I can screw in by hand. Wow. I've only installed two major components into this case, but 10 out of 10 would build in this case again. Time to install the pump. Uh, this comes with thermal paste, but I'm using my own because I want to. Which, uh, where did I put it? Where the heck did I put it? You know what's so funny about having this clip on mic? I can walk around my entire, <laughs> my entire office space and you guys wouldn't even know, you know? I could go outside. Ready? Here I go. I'm going outside. Bye. It's been fun. See ya. I'm out here now. Wow. You could probably still hear me. It's crazy technology. Okay. I'm coming back now. Hello. How you doing? Um, okay. Where's my thermal paste? I found it. I made another mistake. I missed a motherboard screw. That's pretty impressive, Hannah. Good job. This one by the tubes is always so awkward. CPU cooler installed. It looks so good. I've gotten a lot hooked up so far, but I feel like I'm running in circles and I'm very tired. There's just a lot of cables and I'm very confused. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give us a good old post test. Yes, let's hope for the best. Go, nothing. This very well could be the reason why. That'll do it. And that looks more like it, okay. Fingers crossed, go. Not working fans, that's fine. Working fan. That ram! Oh my God. Why are you so loud? Do you, do you hear this? Oh wait, working fans. What? What? Hey. Okay, I feel like I've made some good progress. Yay. What a good feeling. I went ahead and put on this front panel too because I forgot there's RGB and look. RGB, and look, more RGB. Do I even need an LED strip in this? I don't think so. I feel so much better. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the graphics card now and power supply stuff and it's, it's gonna be fine. I'm just very tired. I'm really happy that the power supply is working. Not that I didn't think it would, it's just been in a box for a really long time. So it's just reassuring to know we're still good to go. Would have been awful to put this thing in and then have it just not work at all, huh? Wait, can you even see what I'm doing? Not really. <laughs> Good job, Hannah. <laughs> well, hopefully you can see this one, huh? There we go. And last but not least, we're gonna install the graphics card. We have the RTX 3080, which I'm so excited to put into this build. Um, and I'm also using it to route this cable from the uh, pump as well. It's gonna go into this slot right here. So I assume we, come on. Hello? Don't fight me here, thank you. Uh, I assume we remove this and this. And since I'm installing the graphics card, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this Peely stuff away so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, that's lovely. That was not so lovely. <laughs> there we go. That was great. This graphics card is power hungry, let me tell you. Wow. That's a statement piece. I love this so much. Look at, the, oh, and now it's time to do probably the most satisfying part. Oh, hey, you can see me. Hey, uh, the most satisfying part, which is doing the peeling. Oh man. Well, this is not very satisfying at all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I got it.
here's what it's looking like so far and I'm absolutely loving it. I love this cable just this, the, the white and the silver looks so good, in my opinion. I wish I got an extra CPU cable. I didn't know, um, but you can't tell there's another one up there, so it's, it's, it's fine. Building in this case was also fantastic, and if I can show you guys the back super quick, look at this. Look at this. You can hide your really bad cable management. Not that mine's, like, particularly horrible. <laughs> just kidding. So yeah, you can put these panels up and nobody has to know. I'm not gonna put on the side panels quite yet. I wanna take this upstairs. I wanna get windows installed. I wanna mess around with the RGB. Um, and I also, uh, I'm sure you guys noticed, I didn't install the hard drive because there is no hard drive bay because you have to order it separately and I didn't know. So good job, Hannah. <laughs> but if I may, I'd like to go ahead and give this a good old power on. Shall we do it? Let's do it. Let's see what it looks like. I can't see, wait. Wow, look at the RGB. Oh, it's chilly. That is very chilly. That is some air moving. Can you hear it? <laughs> I think I need to go into the BIOS and mess around with the fan setting, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this upstairs, okay? And if I run into any technical problems, I'll let you know. Alrighty, moment of truth. Let me go ahead and turn this on. Okay, let's hope for the best. Please post, please post, please. Man, yeah, it's all colorful. We have a green light, so, <gasps> yes, yes, it's just what's done, yay! Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and configure a couple of things and I will see you guys in a bit. And I'm also gonna take a nap because I'm very sleepy, so good night. Hello friends, it's been a couple of days since I've worked on this PC. Um, I got it up and running, it's running fantastic. I got Windows installed, Minecraft runs amazing. Haven't played Warzone yet, but I'll let y'all know. Today we're gonna be correcting two mistakes that I have made. The first mistake, this didn't have a hard drive bay, and I really wanted to put that four terabyte hard drive in. It's really important for me if I'm gonna be making videos and for content creation, so that's a high priority. I need to do that. And in order to do that, I had to order a hard drive bay. So I was waiting on that. This is the piece that I was waiting for. We got it now. I can put this in. And the second mistake that I have made, I don't know why this didn't click in my brain, but for some reason, first of all, I thought that the tubes for Mordecai started at the bottom. Apparently they start on the right side, and that's the right orientation for the CPU cooler. I thought that once it was powered on that the logo could be uh, rotated somehow. It can't. It cannot be rotated in software. It's, it's stuck in that. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm, it's a hardware thing. So my bad. I'm sure a lot of people were like, what are you doing? It's not the right way. I know. Sorry. <laughs> so today I'm gonna rotate the CPU cooler, I'm gonna install the hard drive, and then I think we're done. At least for now we're done. First up, the CPU cooler, I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate it this way so the tubes are on this side. Friendly reminder, if you're gonna be doing this to your CPU cooler, make sure to replace the thermal paste. Because if you pick it up and put it right back down, you could cause some bubbles. That's not good for thermals. Can you see that it's clean? I hope you can. That's clean too. I just got my fingerprints all over the pump and I am so sad. I don't know if y'all can see from there, but look at the fingerprints on there. I hope this is easy to clean. Oh wow, that worked kind of okay. For those who want to see, here's my hard drive. I'm going to put it in a thing and I'm going to put the thing in the thing. Sound good? Okay, thank you. And when I say the thing, I mean the mounting bracket itself for the hard drive. Uh, this did not come with the hard drive bay, so keep that in mind. Hmm, doesn't fit. That's just splendid, isn't it? Look at that. Don't fit at all. Since this mounting bracket doesn't fit with the hard drive, I'm just gonna go ahead and mount the hard drive straight to the actual hard drive bay. Um, I think it should be fine. I also learned that you can split this in half and you can put the other half in there. Look, that's how I learned how to install it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the thing. Yep, that's right. It should be fine as long as the hard drive isn't moving around. Yeah, this thing ain't going anywhere. Can you guys even see? Probably not. It's it's right there. Let me move the camera a little bit. Can you see better? Now we give it power. Now do I have a SATA cable around here? Oh, would you look at that? I do. SATA data. I had to take the graphics card out momentarily, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the SATA data right here. I gotta say, the back of this case is worth showing off. Look at how clean it is. Can you see? You can also see me though. Hey. 
Oh god, sorry. What do we think? I think it turned out amazing. Shall we go ahead and power it on? Yes, we should. All right, here we go. I'm so excited. Shall I turn off the lights too? Yes. Oh, oh my gosh, it looks so good on camera. But for now, I'm gonna turn the lights back on if that's okay. I'm also gonna remove the side panel too. This is without a doubt the prettiest build that I've ever done. And surprisingly, one of the easiest too. I don't know if it's because I've been building more and more PCs over time and I'm just getting more comfortable with it or maybe it's the components. For example, this case, my gosh, this is the case for cable management and for, apparently you can even run two systems in this case. Fantastic, would work with it again. Pun. Fantastic. Fantex, Dick, Fans, Fantex, because that's the brand. Uh, fantastic, Fantex, anyways. Um, this is a great build, wow. Something that I love about running multiple Asus ROG components is that they're all compatible RGB-wise. And they all kind of have the same design language. They just flow together really nicely. I love how all of the Asus components just, they just look so good together. It's like they were made to be together. It's crazy, it's like somebody planned it that way. The CPU cooler that I have in here is just beautiful. I love the white fans. Um, RGB just looks so good with white components. Color just bounces off of the fans really well. It looks so good. I will say something that I think I wanna do down the line is replace these black screws with white screws so that they're a little less jarring. Um, I think that would be really pretty. Also, the actual pump looks phenomenal as well with the ASUS ROG logo. Um, I will say one thing that I would love to see with this cooler is if it were to come with um, one of these cables, but in black. Um, I think it kind of stands out a little bit too much on my motherboard. And I don't know how many like straight white motherboards there are out there, but I feel like if you were to put a black cable in there instead, I think it would probably go with more motherboards. I don't know, or at least, you know, have the option to use a black cable. I will say it's running very quiet right now too. What else can I talk about? Um, the RAM, the power cable extensions, the power supply, everything looks great. Can we talk about the graphics card? Look, just, uh, uh, uh. It's so pretty, it's gorgeous. Part of me is tempted to get a RAM kit that better matches the graphics card. It's kind of slashy pattern that it's got going on, but it, it, it uh, beautiful. That's, that's all I got. What are words? I don't know. The build process went extremely smoothly. Not much to report. Um, the hard drive bay, I'm pretty sure there was one before, but I think I took it out for some reason. Can't remember why. So uh, just keep that in mind. You might need to order a hard drive bay if you get this case. I'm not sure, I, I don't know. Oh yeah, and the pump on the CPU. Ha <laughs> ha I thought that you could rotate the logo in software or something, but no. Uh, <laughs> learn my lesson. I don't really know what else to talk about. Um, I'm super happy with this build. I'm really excited to get it set up with Mordecai. Oh, a name. Okay, so I'm going to name this PC. Now the thing is, I had plans on naming it after a character in Borderlands, but I couldn't think of a Borderlands character that I really wanted. If you guys could think of somebody, comment down below and let me know. A name that was suggested to me was more to Kai. Get it? Because my other PC is Mordecai, and this would be more to Kai, because it's a two dual PC setup. More PC, more to Kai. <laughs> Laugh. It's funny. Thank you, Sora Rage, for the wonderful idea. But I haven't fully settled on a name yet. If you guys have any ideas, feel free to comment down below and let me know. Hey, Post Production Butters here. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Asus ROG once again. Thank you guys so, so, so much for providing me with components for this build and for multiple builds that I've done. Um, thank you so much for just being great. That's all I really got. Also, I want to go ahead and mention that Asus is doing a custom PC giveaway. How exciting! Feel free to click the link down in the description below if you want to learn more. And with that being said, I think that concludes the video. Like, comment, please subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Bye 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 Yay! Look at it. It's so pretty. I just want to look at it. Just uh, forget playing on it, right? I just want to look at it. That's a joke. I absolutely want to take this upstairs right now and set it up and get to playing some video games. Um, yeah. Warzone. Skyrim. Modded Skyrim. What else do I want to play in here? Minecraft. I, I'm not really like a big PC gamer. I've always been a console gamer, so I, I don't even know what to play. What do I do? You guys tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and by the way, dual PC setup video coming soon. I promise.